so you want to play Chronicles of Illyria. But what do you want to be? Chronicles of Illyria is an in-development MMORPG that is looking to make a dynamic and immersive world. One that does not have traditional classes, but instead a wealth of possibilities for how you are going to interact with the world and stories that are unfolding around you. This series looks at some possible professions, trades and ways of life, giving you inspiration while looking at the details we have for the mechanics of the game. Please do remember that Chronicles of Illyria is in development. That means we do not have all the answers, but everything we do have is always subject to change. This week's profession will appeal if you have an interest in player versus player combat out in the open world, in being a defender of justice, bringing lawbreakers to face trial, a blade for hire that can aid those who have had their personal contracts broken, or perhaps on the darker side, being the mother. Well then, you're going to want to know about contracts, bounty tokens, tracking, and how to capture other players. There are two different types of contracts, implicit and explicit. Both are written by scribes, a skill you might want to learn the basics in as you're going to need your own contracts between yourself and your clients. But more importantly, scribes are people you might want to be friends with, in the hope that they push business your way. Maybe they can hand out flyers to their customers in case the worst happens. Networking is going to be key to setting up a thriving business. But what's the difference between explicit and implicit? Explicit is a traditional contract you might think of. You agree the terms set out in a document and sign to make it binding. Be that a contract for trade, services or any other task you can think of. These explicit contracts can be made between individuals, for example a blacksmith buying ore from a miner, between one person and many, perhaps a farmer recruiting labourers to help with a busy harvest, or between many, like how are you going to split up all that loot from your raiding party? Implicit contracts on the other hand do not require you to sign to be binding. Think of things such as laws, where simply being in the region the law applies to means that you're now bound by that contract. Whatever the type of contract is, it's likely to have consequences if broken. Consequences that have to be enforced. That's where you come in, Bounty Hunter. If a contract is believed to be broken, then simply using a copy of that contract can create a bounty token. This token allows the person that possesses it to enact the agreed consequences on the player who broke the contract. That might be going to collect money, items, or even dragging them off to face trial. All tasks your average Illyrian might not be capable or willing to do themselves. Instead they can hire you to take on that role, give you the details of where the perpetrator is, or at least might be, and let you do the dirty work. Of course for a fee. It all sounds simple enough, but there are a couple of things to be aware of. Firstly, laws. Laws are player made. That means they will vary. A lot. In some areas it might not be possible for individuals to go and reclaim their own goods, or pay you for the privilege, and instead need a sheriff to reclaim them. This is particularly bad news if you're looking to be a heavy for a criminal gang, as the sheriff is unlikely to look kindly on you asking for a bounty token on a failed assassination contract. In other areas, laws might not exist, meaning that contract is not worth the paper it's written on, and cannot be enforced at all. Obviously, as a bounty hunter, you'll need to make sure you choose a county that will welcome your services. How do you actually find your target? This is one of the parts where we do not have all the details. When you're helping an individual, hopefully they know a bit about who they went into contract with. It might be as simple as them telling you, oh, it was Delilah who lives on the quarry on the outskirts of town. It might be the name on the contract is all you have to go from. And you don't even know if that's the person's real name, or a false identity they've made. The same that goes with those who have broken the law. While someone will have gathered evidence from the scene, got a name, and taken that to the sheriff for them to raise a bounty token, they do not know if that's the player's true identity. Creating identities and disguises is likely to be a crime. But those who go around breaking contracts, especially other laws, might not worry too much about details like that. We do know that if you have significant evidence to suggest that someone is wearing disguise, you would probably be able to determine they're in a disguise, and so if you saw them, it would cause the disguise to fail. However, how you gather such evidence we're not sure about. Though, pulling on everyone's hair to see if it's a wig has been ruled out. It might well be that you go back to networking, using contacts, talking to known associates, people in the area, listening to the gossip in the street and the like. Hopefully we hear more about investigation and tracking skills in the future. There is also one other issue with tracking. Borders. 
your bounty token might only be of use in the kingdom the crime was committed. So make sure you know what extradition treaties the bordering kingdom has. Otherwise it doesn't matter how doggedly you pursue them into foreign lands. You might not be able to capture them and you might not get paid. Let's say you have found your mark. Now what? Well if you're there to collect money or items we can assume that it will work in the same way as tax collectors who also work from bounty tokens. Perhaps they could rebrand themselves as bounty hunters too. In that case you can either trade with the person for the money they owe or if they refuse you're allowed to collect it off them at their personal expense. What counts as their expense is not clear. Could mean that you could hit them over the head and take their coin purse. Or maybe just take some goods to the same value. It might go back to local laws. However, there is a chance that you are there to bring the person to justice. And take them to jail. It's unlikely they're going to come quietly. So this is where combat skills will be needed to subdue them. While you're only looking to knock them out, you're still going to be fighting the full fight. So do not worry, you're not missing out. Once you have them down, you have to do something most people will not be able to do. Bind them. Restraints and keeping people hostage is not something the developers are overly keen on. Because after all, if you're the one being a hostage, you're unlikely to be rushing to play each day. However, with a bounty token, you can bind someone and transport them in the direction of the jail. If you go wandering off in the wrong direction, or take far too long about it, you're going to find your captive has slipped their restraints and run off. So make sure you're not leading them on a merry chase. Get them back, get them to justice, get paid. So, do you still want to be a bounty hunter? Does the thrill of the chase call to you? Or does the idea of being a scribe writing those contracts jump out? Let me know down in the comments below or over on Twitter where you can follow at Elyria Echo. I hope to hear from you.